La Salle Convertible Coupe 1937. In the mid-1920s, GM President Alfred P. Sloan had done a fine job of aggregating a hierarchy of brands for every purse and purpose. However, he realized that there was a large price gap, over $1,000, between Buick and Cadillac. What was a Buick owner to do when he wanted a new, more elegant vehicle? Chances were he went to Packard, which had become America's favorite luxury brand. Sloan was intent to keep the customer within the GM fold, so the La Salle was born. The La Salle wasn't just a car to fill in a price gap, it was a new brand with a sporty, stylish character. To help him with his objective, Sloan hired a young stylist from a custom body shop that was owned by Cadillac's California distributor. His name was Harley Earl, and what started as a one-time project to design the inaugural La Salle ended up being a 32-year career that changed the rules in Detroit. By 1937, the La Salle continued to be the most stylish of American brands in an era full of streamlined Art Deco classics. Styling was very similar to 1936's entry-level Cadillac Series 60, and both shared a 124-inch wheelbase. In another nod to the junior Cadillac, the La Salle shed 1934-36's L head straight head to borrow the V8 from the previous year's Series 60. Displacing 322 cubic inches, it put out 125 horses, an improvement of 20 from the year before. If that wasn't enough, a new hypoid axle allowed a lower drive shaft and floor for 2 inches of added headroom. Sales more than doubled from the year before, achieving an all-time high of 32,000 units. And, adding another feather to its cap, the La Salle was chosen as paced car for the Indianapolis 500. This 1937 La Salle Series 50 convertible coupe is a quality older restoration that has mellowed with age. Having recently completed the Marin Snow Mature Delegance, this La Salle is a strong, capable driver. We enjoyed driving this car during our recent photo shoot, and found that shifting is a breeze, no doubt due to Cadillac's famous lightweight transmission with pin-type synchronizers. For the La Salle fan, a 1937 convertible coupe with rumble seat and side mounts is possibly the pinnacle of Alfred Sloan and Harley Earl's vision.